Hi guys, Rice here. Welcome back to my channel. I am so so sick. I don't really feel well at the moment. I have a very bad cold. That's why na medyo na late yung mga uploads natin. I have a new lighting equipment at the moment. I have a new ring light and I'm still testing it out. So anyway, uh, this video is about things I am not fond of. Things I actually regret buying. Uh, it's not things that I hate. I mean, hate is a very um, it's a very bold statement. So hindi ko naman sila hate. Uh, I'm just um, disappointed with them one way or another and I will explain why. First off, I will give the disclaimer. If these things worked out fine on you, I'm so happy for you guys because I don't buy things to hate them. Again, I don't buy things to hate them. So gusto ko mag out sila sa akin pero hindi talaga. First on the list is this sponge. I think this is a generic sponge from Althea Korea. I bought this one and it's I think called My Makeup Sponge. Parang ganun yung tawag sa kanya and um, this is what it looks like. I really expected it to be soft and fluffy. You know, like the beauty blender or the real techniques at least. Pero hindi. Sobrang ano niya. Sobrang, sobrang tigas niya. Um, to the point na hindi siya masyadong mag expand kapag binasa mo. So, hindi siya kasing fluffy ng real techniques. Hence, it's harder to apply product on it. So, ang hirap mag... Hindi naman mahirap, pero ang sakit mag-blend ng foundation sa kanya. And okay sana yun. Kaya sanang tiisin ang sakit para sa magandang foundation. Pero hindi niya talaga nabiblend out yung foundation ng mas maganda. Another thing is, yung kanyang shape. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of the shape. So, medyo awkward yung shape nito to blend out my eye or my concealer and just didn't work out. So speaking of sponges, pag-usapan natin ito. So this is my second disappointing product. I mean, it does the job of cleaning the sponge. Don't get me wrong. Kaya niyang linisin yung sponge mo or even your makeup brushes. But it's just too gimmicky on my opinion. I mean, this soap does the same with the um, regular antibacterial hand soap I am using whenever I'm cleaning a sponge. And the applicator of this drives me crazy. So you have to pump out the product first and then you have to scoop the product. It's just sobrang messy niya and ang hirap niyang gamitin. And yun nga, okay lang sana yung pagka-messy niya or okay lang sana na mahirap siyang gamitin when it does magic to the sponge. I mean, ang inexpect ko kasi sa kanya is kaya niyang linisin yung mga stains sa beauty blender. Pero hindi din. I mean, it does the same with the soap. So, if you're going to buy this one, just take note na hindi siya, hindi niya kayang, hindi niya rin kayang alisin yung stains. I might try though the soap for the beauty blender, yung parang um, solid soap nila yung bilog. So, I might try that. Pero this one doesn't really work out. So, I have two foundations to mention. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Liquid Mousse Foundation. Tagal ito sa aking collection, pero hindi ko siya na-mention dun sa first disappointing video I did before. And, ang ayoko dito is, sobra siyang mag-cake up sa akin. I mean, it is catered for those with oily skin. And before I do have oily skin, I mean, oily to combination skin. And this is not working out good. Uh, sobrang cakey. Yun. Yun yung just flat cakey siya sa akin. It will cake up the first 30 minutes I apply it. It oxidizes really bad on me. I mean, pag-oxidize niya, nagiging siyang sobrang orange. Hindi ko talaga nagustuhan yung formulation nito. Hindi ko talaga gusto yung pagiging sobrang cakey niya. I mean, I do set it with powder, I blot, and everything. Pero sobrang cakey niya, especially on the top of my nose and um, parts of my under eye. So, sobrang... No, no. Ayoko talaga sa mga um, cakey foundation. And right now, na medyo malamig ang ating season and I am on a dry... Um, dry skin type. I am very not into really matte foundations. Hence, I'm not really a fan of the Becca Ever Matte Shine Proof. Sobrang matte nito. As in, sobrang matte. If you are really oily, I suggest you try this one out. Ang experience ko naman sa kanya is sobrang matte niya lang. It tends to cling on my dry patches. But it's not cakey at all. It blends out really well, pero sobra talaga niyang matte. Binili ko to, oily to combination pa ako. And ang ginagawa ko na lang sa kanya is ina-apply ko siya on my oily oily parts. Like the nose part, also parts of the under eye. Pero hindi ko siya kayang gamitin sa buong mukha. Kasi it will cling on my dry patches right here. Especially sa mouth and sa chin area. So, yun na lang ang ginagawa ko sa kanya. I can't use this foundation alone. And I tend to grab for another foundation. And I think a product this expensive should do it for me. This one alone. Not a fan of that. Mixing things. Especially when the product is really expensive. You know guys, I really love Kathleen Lights. I buy every recommendation. Especially kung affordable recommendation yan. And this one is one of them. This is the Sleek Blush in the shade 
suede. Sobrang yung nirave about ito. And this is actually my first purchase on Zalora. Kasi wala kaming sleek makeup, eh, sleek counter here in um, our province. So, naghanap talaga ako ng paraan para makabili nito. And uh, luckily, available siya sa Zalora. But, the shade of this, it does not show on my skin tone. I mean, this is its swatch. Halos wala ka makita. And it's really, really orangey. So this orange shade right here is the one I'm using right now. Kaya kala ko mag-work out to sa akin pero hindi. It does not show on my skin tone. It's, it's just applying a powder. Parang wala, siya lang, wala lang siya sa akin. And if I build it up, it appears really brown. Like straight up orange brown. Parang ganun. Parang kung nag-contour ng wala sa lugar. Parang ganun siya. So, I mean, I often like what Kathleen Lights recommend. But this one does not really work out on my skin tone. And I mean, I don't really get so much product. It's not buttery. Kasi parang ganun niya dinescribe. Eh. Buttery daw yung blush. And madali siyang i-apply. And it's not. For me, at least. Another disappointing product is from Sleek. But don't get me wrong. I do have a lot of things I love from Sleek. Sleek makeup, especially their birthday suit. Gusto ko yung shade na yon and um, a contour and highlighting um, duo. Uh, okay din sa kanyon. But this one I don't like. The sister of this, the Solstice palette, is fantastic. It's fantastic. Kung gusto niyo ng vava boom na highlight, try that one out. But this one is in Cleopatra's Kiss. Actually, I'm very excited when I bought this one. Kasi yung Solstice palette, meron siyang konting um, shades na hindi ko magamit. Like the purple one, it's too cool toned for me. But this one is a really warm tone, champagne shades. Really wearable. So just a background in here, you will get two cream highlights and two powder highlights. And the powder highlights are one of the worst. I mean, I'm, I'm really not a fan of it. Because it's too too glittery, as in very glittery. And so, diniliman kong konte. I mean, you can't really see, pero meron siyang specks of glitters na nanahuhulog right here. I hope you can see, but they are, they're just glittery. I mean, those glitters tend to appear on your cheeks and it will fall out. Pero yung cream, yung cream highlights nila okay. Pero, I mean, if you're going to use just two products, if you have four products and you're just going to use two products, I don't think this is worth it. I suggest you try the Solstice one because that's um, just a sheen glow that's intense. Yon okay yon. I mean, I don't experience any glitters on it. Pero ito medyo talagang glittery siya sa akin. Next one is a brow product. This is the ColourPop Brow Pencil in the shade Bang and Brunette. I mean, it's very creamy when you swatch it. Very, very creamy. Very, very promising. Pero kapag nasa brows mo na siya, you can go back and forth. I mean, I tend to shade my um, outer part of the brows. Based on my experience, kapag dinrowing ko siya dito, hindi ko na siya, parang hindi ko siya madrag right here because it appears really patchy. Kasi hindi mo mashade or hindi mo makulayan yung parts of your brows. Siguro kaya siya nag-appear na very patchy kasi sobrang creamy niya. As in, as in, it's really creamy. <laughs> to the point na it tends to transfer parts of here on this side. Parang ganun siya. It's really, parang movable. Yeah, that's the word. Sobrang, sobrang siyang nag-move to the point na hindi mo na mashavean lahat. Hindi mo na siya makulayan lahat. Really hard to explain. I can't explain it, pero parang ganun yung concept niya. The last product is, this is the Kylie Burgundy Palette. Don't get me wrong, guys. This is good. I mean, this is really good. You can work with it. This is not the worst. This is not a bad product. This is good. These are the shades you get in here. It's really appealing. I mean, ito yung mga shades na gusto ko. I, you get here an orange one, a pink one, and some shades of shimmer. The reason why this palette is part of this video today is because of the Modern Renaissance palette. I am so, so impressed with this palette. I actually regret buying this. As you can see, you get here the same shades, same tones, same... Pretty much the same look. You get here more shades. This is of better quality in my opinion. Mas maganda yung shimmer shades nito. Mas pigmented sila. Mas maraming matte shades. Mas maraming pwedeng gawin na looks. And they are of the same price. I mean, kung bibilin mo sila sa mga resellers, pansinin ninyo, ba halos pareho yung price nito. You can probably get the Kylie palette for 2,800 to 3,200. This one also is of the same of the same price. So I suggest you just get the Modern Renaissance. Yon yun lang ba ang aking mga ibababanggit? Yes, so that's it for this video, guys. Hindi siya ganun karami. I mean, I mean, I hate hating products and I don't really, you know, I, I do my research. Pero meron lang talagang things up to the hype, like the Kylie palette, na gusto ko lang itry. Pero, 
ended up really not liking it. So comment below guys kung ano yung mga bagay na hindi nyo rin na-enjoy. I mean, medyo disappointing sa inyo. Again, this is my personal opinion. Personal opinion. So if you love anything I mentioned right here, it's not nothing personal. I mean, I might keep them like the Beauty Blender one since I have it. Might as well gamitin ko na rin ito. Pero yun lang, medyo may mga things right here na just up to the hype or medyo gimmicky in my opinion. So yeah, I hope you find this video helpful. So yeah, that completes this video. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to click the little bell button. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you in my next video guys. Always remember, be beautiful, be you. Bye! Nalilinis niya yung sponge. Don't make... Pero yung... So in here... So just the background in here you will get two cream. So in here, so just the background in here you will get two cream highlighting palette, highlighting. So hindi ko siya. I mean, ang nangyari kasi sa kanya kapag ang nangyari kasi sa kanya kapag kasi ang nangyari kasi based on na it it, it, it attends. Siguro kaya